adding composite video to an Atari 2600. I picked up a uh, composite video kit here online that I want to install into this Atari 2600. So let's uh, take this thing apart. Okay, I've got the uh, case off. Next, I want to remove uh, this assembly here to get into the circuit board. Go ahead and pop off this RF cable. I'm not going to need that anymore. All right, I got it out of the case. Now I need to get into this circuit board. I've got all these screws right here. So I'll get down to the main circuit board and begin the modifications. All right, here's the circuit board out of the Atari now. Next thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to remove this transistor right here from the circuit board. So we'll get it removed. The transistor has been removed. So next I'm going to move on to the uh, power board. The next thing I need to remove is this RF modulator board. So let's take it out. So the small circuit board has now been removed. Next I'm going to assemble the small circuit board in here with all these uh, components. So we'll do that next now. Not a whole lot of components to assemble. Got a couple resistors, my transistor, a couple harnesses, the circuit board, and the RF connectors. So let's put all this together. Here's the assembled uh, circuit board. This side will be going to the Atari, and this side will be going out to the uh, composite video jacks. So now let's hook this up to the uh, motherboard of the Atari and install my composite video jacks. I've got the uh, wires hooked up to the uh, RF modulator where the uh, board used to hook up. Now I need to connect the last wire, this yellow one, not the yellow one, blue one here, over to the circuit board of the Atari now. Next, locate capacitor C210 on the circuit board, which is this ombre right here. And we're going to connect our next wire to this empty hole right here on the circuit board. Now, because of the casing of the circuit board, you'll need to install this wire from the back side back here, not from the top. Otherwise, it'll uh, smash up against the casing. So now let's install that wire. Here we go, I got the wire installed to the circuit board now. You can see the end of it sticking up out of the hole right there. So it's all soldered in. Now let's move on to the next step. Now we need to remove resistor 213, which is right here. So I'm just going to simply just cut it out of the circuit board. And after that, we're pretty much done with the modifications to the uh, motherboard. Alright, everything's wired up. Ready for the initial test. I'm going to pull out a uh, Frogger cartridge in order to adjust the color wheel here, color adjustment, to get the proper colors on the uh, display now. Alright, got the Frogger cartridge in. Let's fire it up. Well, actually, the colors look fine. Cool. So I'm going to have to adjust the color wheel, which would have been this adjustment right there. So let's get all this wiring tied up in here and everything mounted. Put this thing back together.